Hello, thank you very much. Thanks for the welcome. Um, I am having a lot of fun. And uh, I'm on the Fred Thompson bus, and we're stopping all over the state, uh, 50 towns or so in this last run around. It reminds me of the time when I was nominated for the, for the Republican nomination for Congress back in 2002. It is fun to go from town to town and meet people and get, on, to get refreshed for me, refresh what Iowa is all about. And what I'm seeing is crowds, packed rooms, every stop, people that are now starting to come to the, to come to the conclusion of Thursday night, January 3rd, we're all going to go out and go to the caucus, and we're going to send a message to the rest of America. We're going to select the person that we believe is, has destiny is called to be the next president of the United States. You have more voice than, any, than anybody else in the world on choosing this world leader. You'll be the leader of the free world, you know. And I will tell you that at the time that I spent on the road with Fred Thompson, my respect for him has grown. It's not diminished. It's grown. It's gotten stronger. And what you see is what you get. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd ask you to welcome the man whom I believe destiny has called to be the next president of the United States, Senator Fred Thompson. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm going to say something I never thought I'd hear myself say. It's great to be in Washington. <laughs> I was in Washington a while back, and it was so cold that some of the politicians had their hands in their own pockets. <laughs> now, I shouldn't say that in front of Steve King, but he, he's not an average politician, as you know. Uh, he's something special. He's special to Iowa, and he's special to me. And Steve, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your friendship and your uh, support. Uh, Steve is uh, someone I called on pretty early on in this process and talked to him about some issues that are important to me, and uh, not the least of which was uh, uh, illegal immigration. So uh, uh, it means an awful lot for me for you to be here to say those kind words about me. I didn't hear all of them, but I bet I agree with everything you just said. Um, I understand my friend John Edwards is in town. He's over at the library. I hope he learns something while he's over there. <laughs> 